Hello everyone and welcome to the final tour of La Casa de la Tierra, our season 3 franchise zoo, which is done. And uh, yeah, today we are doing the little tour and I gotta say, it's going to be a very incredible because um, this zoo became fantastically huge and uh, yeah, we will try to make this uh, in, in one day, um, so to say, because the daylight is very important to see things and so we're trying to keep it uh, fairly short and also the performance, I'm sorry for that, but this zoo is already pre cramped we have like about eight and a half thousand guests in the zoo, we have about 250 animals, um, so there's a lot going on here. So we are just going to try to make it as smooth as it possibly can be, just going to uh, lower down the speed of my mouse a little bit at least so that you can at least, you know, hear that a little bit better. All right, so I drank a little bit so that my voice is not going to crack too early. I don't know, I just have some issues again. Um, it's not like allergy, but um, my voice is uh, a little bit of a hard time at the moment. Anyways, we are here. And there you can see the wonderful uh, entrance sign. I believe it was done by Ria. Um, there are, you know, many, many people contributed stuff to the park. And this one is one of these cool signs that the people have, uh, you know, gave, given into the thread in my Discord channel. So in case you want to be part of the next season, make sure to join the Discord channel. Um, and there you will be int introduced to the next project, which I will do actually already on Sunday evening. So this episode will be on Monday, but it, then the instruction for the new project will be, uh, already be out. Out. So that's what we're gonna do. Anyways, let's start our journey to the right hand side here with the Bornean orangutan habitat. You can see there is one of the dudes uh, just climbing around. This was my very first habitat in this zoo. Now um, I'm quite proud of it uh, because this this was really the beginning of the zoo, which set the which set the mood of the zoo. And yeah, it's um, it's rather cool. The actual breeding program never really kicked off, um, so um, the family is still the same family, but you know um, I think in the third generation. But we never managed to kind of enlarge it dramatically. On the left hand side though we have the gorilla habitat over here. Let's um, just quickly have a look. Oh look at that! There's already one drink in here. But I just want to quickly give you the perfect overview from the wonderful viewing area that is um, uh, right over here to the right hand side. So you can really see this is uh, even filming with the mobile phone. But yeah, you can actually see that lovely over here. A lot of babies roaming around at the moment. Um, this breeding program works a little bit better. Um, so we have quite a lot of babies. We could make a lot of conservation credits with those animals. Um, and yeah, just in general, that's a very nice uh, habitat at the end of the day. Uh, very cool with this little gap in between so you can really see the animals climbing around, roaming around and they do a stellar job of being really in the right positions for us right now. Anyhow, so let's continue the journey because otherwise we are running out of daylight and I'm I'm not, not really keen on doing this in the dark, you know, that's not, oh God, it's so crampy here in the beginning. Um, anyhow, so next bit, uh, we're going through these wonderful archways made by Kane. Uh, he did some cool stuff here. Um, and sorry, I will not be able to remember each and every single um, person who has done what because there were so many people putting stuff in but in the dedicated episodes I gave credit to all of them and uh, you will also find the links in my discord and everyone uh, deserves the same praise and uh, we have the lucky Lucas that's what she said um, uh, symbol over here in honor of Alia but yeah so on the right hand side over here we do have I think th I believe this is the Bengal tiger if I'm correct yeah that should be fine this is the Bengal tiger habitat and oops I don't know why we glitched a little bit to the ground um, I'm not even sure if we have some in here oh that, that looks good look at that they're even chilling in the treehouse oh I love that with the baby look at that shot oh my lord this is like um okay excuse me excuse moi you just destroyed this wonderful setup here. Anyhow, as you can see, Mama and Daddy. Well, Daddy, I think, Bill, I believe Daddy was just gone right now. <laughs> um, Mama is just chilling below a piece of meat. The baby is just in that little bit of shadow down here. Oh, I love it. Um, and this, <laughs> this thing was just destroyed right next to us. Cool. Well, I think some mechanics will fix it soon. But yeah, if we just uh, leave that area, uh, we just glitch into the ground again. Um, to the right hand side, we will have the wonderful red panda habitat. And I'm quite happy with this little bit in the background. So we do have a little bit of a, you know, wonderful viewing gallery here to the inside. You can see one, two chilling actually over here, as you can see in this little inside area. It's quite nice, but people are freezing over here because uh, all of these freezers that, uh, yeah, I put down to make sure that this area is quite nice for them. God, some lag spikes here. I don't like, don't really know why. Um, but yeah, then we just move. This is quite interesting. 
I'm not really sure why that thing is floating in midair. Let's just delete that one. <laughs> I have no clue why that was here, but yeah. And so this is the red panda habitat from the other side. You can really tell um, there's a lot going on here. We've got a lot of uh, red pandas in here, quite a big family. They do work well together. I thought at the beginning they can only have two um, adult animals, but in fact they can do something else. Is it about to rain? Ugh don't like rain or is it just foggy and cloudy i don't know i love i love the lighting in this game so much it doesn't really matter on this hand side we have the bonobo habitat and i remember that a lot of people love that one uh because of the ha hammock design in the middle where they can actually chill on and climb on with all these ropes and yeah it's actually about to start raining uh but yeah <laughs> okay so we have a rainy tour that's also fine you know that's also the bit of a cool bit about the um franchise mode that you know i cannot put this on sunlight at the same daytime as you know for the whole tour so we have to do what we have to do um now on the right hand side we nearly missed that um if we just go over to the other side we have the cheetah habitat um which is a little bit different in terms of what the cheetahs need but they can get along with it so that's quite fine let's see if we can catch one of those um i needed to uh, grant them some more privacy there you go i can spot someone lying down there in in this cave i love i love it you know looking at this game and sometimes doing the tours makes you realize that there are some cool things in place that i would love to see these animals do even more and i also would love frontier emphasizing that even more because all of these behaviors that the animals have programmed into them like you know going for shelter in rain and uh, going for shade when it's really hot and stuff um, it, it could actually be a lot more pronounced because that really seems to happen too less, I guess, in fact. So I would love to be able to see that even more. Um, but yeah, on the right-hand side here, we do have the... I think it's a capuchin monkey. Yeah, that's the capuchin monkey um, cage over here. So I love this uh, too. Um, as you can see, they're roaming around free. It's kind of a walk-in habitat, which... Um, you know, it's always fun to build, and I think this one in particular was quite fun to build. Um, I'm wondering, like, if the animals are going for shelter right now here. Not really doing that right now. I would believe they would sit down here below these things, but I don't know. They just don't do it right now. But look at that one. There's another one just going here. Um, the, oh, they're just going below that shade here. This is this is where they have the shelter. Um, but yeah, so we can just continue our tour through this little garden here. Um, I think it's really cool, cozy, really nice, and just, you know, leave this building to the right-hand side here. And on the opposite side of this area, we will find the giant panda temple, and I'm, I'm also loving that one. Oh, it's actually really busy here, but you can actually go here. We have a lot of shades because I needed to make all these shades work here. Uh, I remember that we have redone the shade structure a few times until you guys were happy because the, the first one really was crap. It was really bad. There's someone... Are you dead, though? I don't see its belly moving. I am fearing that this dude might not be just... <clears throat> um, excuse me. This dude is just sleeping, okay? He's just... just <laughs> and that one is just chilling next to it, just randomly just eating some bamboo. Um, okay, well, then I guess uh, nice behavior, people. Animals, there we go. We have another one. You are alive, you just pooped, okay? So that means you are fairly alive, that's good. Um, but yeah, we've also some bamboo lying just in... Why is it even lying there? I'm quite sure there is no feeder in here. But yeah, so we actually also have like an indoor section. Um, if we go to the left-hand side here, there's the backstage uh, right in front of us, but to the left-hand side, you can see there's the indoor section. They barely really use it, but they could in fact use it. But you know, I've, I've, I think I've never saw them in here. Or just stop raining. How cool is that? And then on the opposite side, we do have the lion habitat, which is... Wow, that was an ace, ace throw of money there. Um, this is the lion habitat. We have another albino... Um, or is it kind of leukist, leuk, 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 thick, uh, uh baby cub here? I don't know what exactly it is. I think it's not albino. I think it's leukistic. Leuk, leuk, um, anyways, I remember that this dude over here, this lion, is a new one. So he did a stellar job in producing some nice babies because we... Um, sold most of them in the Friday Fix episode lately to make sure that this all works fine and, you know, um, we, we do have some more uh, healthy genes and stuff, so that, that just kind of worked out nice. Look at that poser. He's just giving us a wonderful pose over here. I also like this backside of the habitat a lot because this is kind of in the shade here, a little bit hidden, and you're actually rewarded for going into this a little bit. On this right-hand side, we have the uh, Formosan Black Bear habitat. I don't know if we can 
catch one of those right now. Sometimes they're just chilling in their big tree in the middle. I still like the idea about this big tree, but you know, with a bit more time, I could have made this habitat a lot, a lot, like a lot better than what it actually is. But yeah, it is the way it is. Now, the next two habitats, I'm really a little bit fearing, to be honest, um, because <laughs> this is the insanely overcrowded uh, Gariel habitat. That's right. We will go there after we've checked out on the Nile monitor. I think, is there anyone swimming? That would be good for us right now. Not really. Um, there's, I think there's one chilling over there. Yeah, that's the, the white one. Um, but we will later on come around here to watch from the other side, so that should be fine. Um, okay, let's, let's take a walk to the river. And then we have uh, the Gariel River, and that will be insane now because we've look at look at how many babies, like one, two, three. There is also some meat. Is there someone else chilling there? No. Uh, one, two, three, four already in that shot. Uh, and then we turn to the left, and this is going to be incredible now. Um, then we have like uh, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Oh my God! Look at what is going on here. I mean, what is going on here? I'm quite surprised that they're not killing each other. Look at how many babies and... I, um, okay, I think I never, I never realized that they can grow up and don't really have an issue. Look at, look at the fishies. Look at the fishies they have. And there's a small one just coming here too. And another one, and another one. And it's just all over the place. Oh my lord, this is insane. You do not want to fall down here. That's not going to end well. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, if I will ever need a Gariel in one of my next franchise zoos, I guess I have some. <laughs> God. Okay, let's go further. Oh my God, this is this is just hilarious. Okay, so um, this is one of the another cool addition to the to the zoo by you guys. Um, I don't know who that was, but this is kind of the, the the pip shop juicy bar, uh, which is super cool. We have the bar here in the back, and then these two things actually um, as the real shops. So I like this quite a bit. And there we go already to the Savannah Dome. In the far back, you can see some chimpanzees climbing. Uh, I guess we will come back here later. We do a little bit of a zigzag uh, course to go this. I really looked into how to really go the zoo and walk the zoo because there, there are some cool things you can do in order to make sure that this really feels like an actual tour. Um, and I really hope I could do this. So now we're going into the Savannah Dome. And in the Savannah Dome, we do have uh, some Savannah animals over here. And oh my lord, this e escalated quickly. We have a lot of chickens right now. <laughs> the ostriches kind of yeah, did a stellar job in repopulating this habitat. Oh my god, I... Okay, um, and then we have some bongos in here as well. We have some small buff uh, uh, willabies, uh, willabies babies. They look like some lovely little goats as well. That is so funny. And the little bongos too. I mean, they will potentially not have a great time in here. It's very crampy. Oh god, okay. So on the right hand side we do have the um, African wild dog and let's just have a look if we can find a better spot to view them. There you go. We can see some over here. We can see some over here. They also got some babies. That's lovely. Oh, there's actually two babies. Look at them. I love them. By the way, it just got next day. So um, yeah, we, we do have the next day. I cannot really do too much about it, but I will drink a little bit now. My voice is going to crack again, and I don't want this, but I'm just, you know, shamelessly doing this live now. I'm just going to not cut this. It's normal. I'm going to get a sip of drink now. Mm. <laughs> I could have I could have just drank a little bit more nice, though. But no, this is the way it is, okay? That's, um, that's an uncut, honest uh, little tour here. Anyways, my voice is uh, hopefully back back to work now. And yeah, let's just go a little bit further and have another like, glimpse here. Is there someone lying on the on this rock here? Yes. This is my this was my kind of uh, viewing rock I wanted to create so that in order them to to uh, lie on this one because it's just such a cool uh, vista for the people and also for the animals to lie on. And then yeah, again we have some more viewing spots of this bridge that goes over here. Um, for the zookeepers, in fact, but also for the doggos themselves. And is there anyone on this side, though? I think they're all chilling on the other side. Yeah, that's that's fine. Oh, look at that! I never really noticed that they're, like, holding hands like this with the kids. Like, I know that they did this with the partners and stuff, like men and women and men and men and women and women, but this is kind of cool. It's like, oh, no, I'm tired. What's going on? I'm so tired. 
I'm so tired, I'm so tired. <laughs> I never really noticed that. It's just funny following the people and just seeing what they do. But man, is that crampy one. <laughs> they cannot have a good time at all. They cannot. But look at the water. That looks kind of fancy right now in this lighting. It looks like really like the sea. I don't know. Um, really cool. Cool. Let's uh, exit this one. Oh, I'm sorry. I never made this entrance work. But anyways, um, on this side, there is the polar bear habitat. I will skip uh, through this fairly quickly because you know this. This is my uh, polar habitat. I did a, as a singular pro project. So it's um, awfully detailed, obviously, but it's it's for the fact that I spent a lot of hours on that one and just copied it over in. Let's have a look if we can catch some of the polar bears. I think the, the lighting is just fairly good right now for it. Um, so if we go down here, can we spot someone in the... Is there actually someone in the... Nope, there's no one in this cave over here. So what are going up the stairs? Is there anyone upstairs? Can we see someone roaming around here? No, 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 no. There's no one in here. Okay, let's have a look if there's someone swimming. There is no one swimming. So maybe they're down below in the cave. So let's have a look if they are so uh we do have some viewing spots in here so this is the cave actually there's still no one in the cave even though it looks kind of cool right now um what about the other side here is there anyone no well no there's someone chilling look at this they're oh, both oh they're pretty nicely hiding in here um but yeah there you go they have the two polar bears now chilling in this this doesn't look too healthy too oh it is alive okay that's fine oh and there's the baby can we have like a Coke for you now? Because you you are um, the, the Coke delivery guy, you know, this little baby polar bear. <laughs> okay, but I still, I still like the idea with all these ice rocks in here. And I gotta say, um, in this lighting, the ice looks fairly good, but it's also because you have no reference to what color it actually is. And so that's why it's not too bad, but yeah. Uh, let's exit this area a little bit. And yeah, the lighting is getting better again. So that's cool. In fact, the lighting is kind of cool right now. Oh, I love it. I love the sun peeking in like, oh, look at that. Whew, so cool. So cool. I love the lighting. Okay, <clears throat> what we will do now, we will run the whole way now uh, towards the hippo habitat, I guess. That's the next thing we are going. Um, so over the course of this very littered way. Oh, I've got no bins over here. We can just follow the litter. Follow the litter. Um, oh, my God. Okay, never mind. We are on this wonderful bridge here with uh, also some cool provided um, canopies uh, or shade structures here for specifically for the zoo. Is there anyone in the water we can see? Not really right now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool here as well. So on this side, um, there should be the animals. Yes, they are just chilling in the background under their wonderful shelter. And maybe there's someone in the water we can not just see right now. I think there was someone in the water. We just caught it. Um, or is this like a baby just delivered? Yeah, there's just a baby delivered. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I'm still very happy with this um, overall habitat because it's it's rather different from what we do usually. So this is this is the way why I quite like this. And oh my god, look at how cramped this is. The most busy zoo in the world. Um, anyways, so if we go further, on this right-hand side, we have the crocodile habitat. We will come back to this in a, in a sec, but we will take the left-hand side now to run in a little zigzag course. So if we turn around here, we will get another glimpse at the hippo habitat with this wonderful underwater viewing. I'm not sure if we can catch someone in the water right now, but I'm, I'm still fairly happy with how this turned out because you can actually see them go underwater. There are barely never any people over here because you can not see those animals that often. But sometimes in a real zoo it is exactly this way. You have to have some some luck, you know, uh, some fortunate uh, situation to see them. Um, and sometimes you just don't. And also same goes with this bridge over here. There's someone just climbing over for us now, running over that bridge to the other side of the habitat. I'm still also very happy with this design. There's another one running past here. It's like a little baby just going to the other side. Let's have a look. If, if it's climbing down here, yes, it's taking that lo lovely uh, little thinner one. And there's another one coming up. I love it. Okay, so but this is this is kind of the little cool thing here where you can see the chimpanzees climbing above the structure and just exchanging sides because you have two sides of the habitat here with a little lake and some climbing structures above the lake. 
and on the other hand side there's a little bit of a lowered area with some hammocks and just some enrichment items some stuff to chill just in general their main area and actually the staff members can go below here through a little um yeah it's almost like a little tunnel that works specifically for them yeah we're back already in this area with the juicy uh pip shot uh, area we're just going to run through here you've seen that already um then we to the left is the garial habitat again to the right is the um, null monitor and this is where we will take the turn again to the right hand side and we will have a better glimpse into the null monitor habitat quickly um but there is not much going on oh yeah oh well it's in the bushy it's in the bush here. It's in the bush. I just caught it in the bush. Is it just swimming away? Yeah, there you go. And again, it's like almost like in a real zoo. Oh, look at these people. They're having the perfect situation now as the Nile monitors. Oh, both. Both are actually approaching. Look at that. That's really handy. Really, really cool for these people. And just uh, doing some swimming action for them. Um, but yeah, to the other side, where there's this very shiny uh, LED screen right now, which is kind of blinding me. Um, this is the lion habitat from the outside. We've seen that from the backside. And there's just one lion coming, running out of uh, this for us now. Look at this Pozak boy. The big boy is posing for us. Look at that. He's going to get for a drink. Oh, lo love that. I love that, guys. This is almost like... Almost like thumbnail potential. That is so cool. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. I just climbed on that uh, little sign to have a better view. Where's your Where's your girl, by the way? I haven't seen the girl in a while. I've I've only seen the babies and not your not your woman. Oh, she's lying there in the back. So that's fine. Okay. So this is the lion habitat from the other view, and then we have these wonderful hanging. Um, viewing platforms for the giraffes and I'm just gonna try to see if we can find a spot this is totally not um, you know virus uh, <laughs> uh, you know um, this is not social distancing conform you know not at all um, but that's kind of cool look at the view look at what's going on here this is the perfect hanging uh, viewing spot and you know I would have loved to make this side over the, here to the left a little bit more overgrown just in case to make wiggly, 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 wiggly. Um, just in case to uh, just to make this whole habitat a bit more um, closed off and just in general a bit more uh, uh, see you know private for the animals, so that these hanging shelters are basically the only viewing platforms available. But it just was not really that much possible. Here's another wiggle, 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 wiggle. Demonetized. <laughs> But look at that again how many african animals we have it's really cool though and again um if i need some for the new zoo we will definitely have them are you just coming for a drink now it's looking so ace i love that this could also be easily the thumbnail like really it's it's looking so cool like look at how look at the giraffe how it's kind of going down there to have a drink and this other one is just yep yeah, mm, I'm, I'm gonna just walk past you is that okay for you yeah i mean i don't mind i'm just going to go to the left from the <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny i love it i love it oh look at that there's like a baby swimming in here how cute is that and she's just gonna go and chill down god the animations are like absolutely on spot really i love that <laughs> this little elephant it's it's just way too cute it's just way too cute i love these hanging giraffe viewing platforms i'm wondering also that like why they are just always going here to the other one like standing over here because like you don't really get a better view like well it's actually kind of a cool view from here but it's not like a better view so i in you know if there was no space i would definitely go to the other one but yeah um let's just oh my god sorry for the fps guys but it's just so crammed in here i think the game just has to render like a million people in this area anyways um if we go further to the right hand side and this is one of the things we have to check out because this was not part of the tour yet is the crocodile habitat um yeah we have the floating island there in the middle in case you could see them there as well but we will take now the left hand side here which is again very cramped uh because you can tell that they are over here we have this tunnel where there's some education no there's actually no education in here oh well there is you can actually you cannot hear it but there is like the speaker education going on um, but yeah, we couldn't really catch a crocodile right now. Not sure where exactly they were. Can we see 
I think there is... No, no, that's kind of the... That's just the shadow from the palm tree. All right. And to the right-hand side here, we have the lemur island, which um, is one of those things which went um, through a major overhaul once we've done it first as a kind of... Uh, yeah, a habitat that went over the pathways, which still is here, but it's kind of empty. And to the right-hand side, you have the real deal. This is like the final, final design. And um, it's also way better design because the animals feel better. They cannot escape. And also with the guests, I needed to do some other stuff like with these, uh, yeah, windows over here, making sure that there's a glass barrier because they were still too annoyed making all these and as you can see there's still some protesters in here which again i have absolutely zero idea why but they are just here you know so let that let them just do that thing i think it's fine yeah to the right hand side we have the jaguar habitat and we can already see someone chilling down here which is a black panther who's just having a good sleep now i guess and there's the other one Oh, I'm loving the jaguars i'm still loving the jaguars there's just another one wait are you a baby no you also grown up, right? So you will be fighting quite soon. God, this is so gorgeous. Such a gorgeous animal. But I want to definitely show you the habitat from a way better perspective. And this is kind of the race platform we can take over here. You know, as we go a little bit high up, there, oh, there's even another one. I think they're all grown up now, so I would need to take them out. But again, the, this series is over. So as soon as they don't kill each other, it's just fine for the moment. Um, but yeah, so this is the area over here where you can actually go along here, have this wonderful view inside this habitat. It's almost like a little cage going on. I'm still quite happy with the design, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so we just go down. And before we go into this last area, I'm just going to show you the um, view from over here, which is... Uh, Another cool view, like you can even see under the race platform, you can still look inside the little jungle with them one side glass so they are not annoyed by it. And sometimes they're just chilling here in the foreground, which is pretty cool. And then you can have a have a nice little look to them. Okay, but well we are going now, before we check into this last area, we're just going to follow this road here towards... Um, I'm, still not, I'm still not sure why they're standing here and what they're doing even. Let's have a look why they're protesting. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I see the low welfare. It's, it's super low. It's, um, incredibly low, guys. I hate you. Okay. <laughs> Can we just quickly, yeah, let's just, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, oh, there's <laughs> some wall pieces I've been using. These are from Haribo, by the way. You know, I'm, you know, giving some credit here. And you can already tell the lovely little Indian area peeking over here. But if you want to have a look into this area, this is the Rhino. We will have a better spot as soon as we go into the little cave before we check out on the right-hand side. But this is the Indian-themed area. But we also can go into this tunnel over here, which is not, like, super-themed. But this tunnel leads then into a little underwater viewing um, but since the animals are not yet diving, we will see this also, hopefully in the future, but um, yeah, for now they're not. So this is the real deal over here. This is where you can basically already have a look into the very um, habitat of the rhinos. And they actually, they got a baby already. Look at that. We do great for conservation, guys. We do so great. There is a lovely little baby rhino. I love it. And what about the other one? Uh, there's one, and this, this is, I think this is Mama. Telling from the size that should be Mama. Where, where, where's Daddy? I think Daddy's just chilling somewhere else, right? So look if we can can spot Daddy somewhere. He's not around, is he? No, I think he's just he's just chilling somewhere else. But it's fine, you know. Again, as always, you're not always able to see and spot every single animal in a zoo. Um, in fact, the last time I've been in the zoo, I think half of the animals I haven't even seen because they have like, I think 90% of the big cats I haven't seen because they were just like hiding. Um, so this is how it is, you know, but I, God, I'm quite amazed by how this area turned out. Like the Indian area looks fantastic, to be honest, like with only putting all these prefabs together. It just looks fantastic. Sorry to just be so weird right now, but... Oh my god, this just looks really cool. With all, oh, look at them. I oh, The colors and everything, the lighting, it's just on spot for the moment. It really is. And I love it. 
and I love it so much. Okay, but now this is there's uh, another view you can have inside of the rhino habitat, but again, we can still not see daddy. So yeah, we are just going to move back uh, into the rest of this little tour, which is nearly done. Um, gotta admit, um, daddy is also not on that side, right? No, he's not. Okay, so we go to the last two really, the last two areas we have left, and this is the one on the right hand side here you can see, uh, which is the Okapi Canyon. Um, with another wonderful food area because as you know the animals uh, the, the guests in this game the, they are so demanding it's just ridiculous um, but yeah so this is the Okapi forest or the Okapi canyon I'm not sure if we can spot one of those they are fairly shy so maybe we cannot so anyone down here not really so maybe let's go to the other side and have a look uh, it's quite funny though it seems that these animals became very are very much ignored by the people since um well, there's no one in here right um and, and looking at the animals but potentially there is also no animal in maybe it was my mistake and i forgot to do something about them and then yeah well there's a keeper living in here so at least there's somewhat something in but i think there are no capis in here right now not sure not sure maybe maybe there aren't Maybe there aren't. Yeah, kind of one of these more ugly looks into the backstage area, but you still have them. So they, they do exist, and that's kind of a thing. And now the last thing we have a look into is the actual reptile house, which, I don't know, turned out one of the more beautiful buildings in this entire franchise zoo with all the assets. I think it was again from Harry Bow, partly. I, you know, I cannot really remember, but yeah. There's a lot going on in here. I'm quite sure that all of these habitats are crammed AF because I have not really looked into that at all. Um, lighting change is kind of very welcome. So in here we have the iguana and I think this is the lesser, and I'm quite sure this is the lesser Antillian one, but there's only one in here. So this is not like over, no, there are two in here. Look at the other one. It's sitting there. I think I never saw it on, on that spot, to be honest. Love it. I love it. That's kind of cool. Why is the education board not connected i don't know okay so the right hand side here this is the green iguana and there we have two. Oh, look at hello did you just like snap for like a fly or something it looked like as it as it was just like catching like for a fly they are so huge they i i could even think that they are bigger than for example the capuchin monkey in the game i would love to have them i would love to have them as a as a real habitat animal to be honest to build the stuff for themselves that would be so cool. There's another one just bugging in the wall in the back. And there is also another one here to the left. I've seen that. It looks really cool. I can still remember that one day once Frontier this, uh, released all of that. And you've seen that the first time. I'm, I'm quite happy that they still have it in. But I'm also a little bit unhappy that, that we lost a little bit of the magic. Due to the fact that these are only exhibit animals. Like the first time seeing it. It was like oh my god. They still even have those animals in. How incredible is that? And I can build everything I want for them. And it's kind of, well, you know, was a little bit of a showstopper that they are only exhibit animals. But on the other hand, at the end of the day, I am quite happy with how it is because you, you just don't do that much with them anyways. Do you? You got to be fair to yourself. You wouldn't. And um, some of those, like, for example, some of the snakes, I potentially would have loved to see in, in a more more habitat-ish environment, but it still is kind of a, so yeah. In this one we have a lot of spiders, um, and I'm quite sure we have a lot of spiders in here. We'll not have a hard time finding too many. See one, two already in here. Let's have a look to the left hand side. I can see, oh, this is just a plant. I thought there was something peeking through, but it's not like much over here. Maybe we have to just turn around a bit, because again, I didn't really care for these for too long. Um, and so they just repopulated the whole time. There's another one here. I think we can we can just make easily like a half a fortune uh, selling all of these animals. Um, I'm quite sure there is. There's another one on this wall there. Yeah, I think if we just keep on looking, we will find more. Um, in this, I think there was the frog in here, but I'm not sure if there still is because at some point I forgot to look into that and they just died and I, I think I don't have any new ones um oh well no there is one I can see one this is the red eyed tree frog I guess from uh, the thousand American pack I'm, I'm not sure if it's it's actually this name but there's another one on this liany here um on, on the vine and there's another one on the window 
Okay, so there's still some in. That's kind of cool. What do we have in here? I think we have another snake in here. Yeah, there is the boar constrictor in. Uh, if there is any, I cannot really tell. Is there someone hanging down here? No, I think I spot one in the far back. Yeah, that should be run right. No, that's actually just a texture. Huh. No, there is one. There is one in the middle. There you go. It's just around this uh, palm tree in the middle. So I, I'm not sure if that's only one, though. Yeah, potentially it's only one. I don't know. Okay, so we looked at the tarantulas, and I think there's another spider down here. That might be the... Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not even trying. I have, I have no idea which one that is. I think this could be the tarantula, the normal one. Look, ah, oh, there's there's one, but I'm, like, not sure. But this is, like, so big. This could also be like, the Goliath birth and eater. Uh, okay, let's have a look which animal that is. I want to know this. Uh, it is the Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. Okay, like, <laughs> some are in here. Just some, okay? Uh, no idea where they all are. There's one sitting, there's one sitting. They're hiding quite nicely in here. There's one sitting, there's one sitting. Oh my lord, so many animals in. Okay, so the last one is this in the middle. And again, I'm not sure which exactly that is. Like, have a look. I think it was the yellow anaconda at some point. Uh, and it still is. It still is. N not just one, though. Um, it's, it's kind of overpopulated. Oh, but I love this position. This, like, hand in... Oh, God, look at that. I mean, zoo-wise, this is the worst thing you can do. Like, four of these animals in such a small space. Not a good idea. Oh, this is even five. I cannot really tell if that's one or two. But telling from the length, that could also be one. I don't know, but I, lo I love that one. I love this this uh, kind of way how it's hanging in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Anyways, guys, we are going to leave this area. And then we are just going to go for a nice, lovely little spot here in the center of the zoo. I think we're just going to have a look right here. That should be fine. So, that was the tour. And I really do hope you guys appreciated that tour. I think the performance was a bit better than I expected. It was not glorious. It was not like 60 smooth FPS or whatnot. But I think it was still doable. Uh, might be a bit of a too quick of a tour. But I still wanted to make sure it's not like two hours long, you know. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy this whole series here, then make sure also to let me know via the comments down below. And also, guys, um, if you are watching my content and you enjoy this and you haven't subscribed, yet make sure to do so um, because this is the way how you support me the most and you know keep this whole thing growing I really do appreciate that and I really want to start interacting even more with you and we will do this with the next series um, trust me on that so you can also always join my discord and uh, since many people ask me lately how to support the channel if you want to do some extra bits there is now the membership of a uh, membership <laughs> Yep, exactly. No, the membership is available for you guys. It's also in the end card. You can just click in and uh, it's, you know, it doesn't matter how much or whatnot. Uh, you can see the perks. Um, I'm, you know, I, I will always try to keep people somewhat similar and, you know, do some stuff. At the moment, there are not that many members as that I would do too many crazy stuff, but I have some stuff planned. So in case you want to uh, help out on that one, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly happy about this because that helps also improving everything around here um, as you know but you know it's not a must I just wanted to let you know and also uh, now as it's getting a bit more uh, dark or rainy I guess again in here I really hope that you guys are as excited as I am for the next franchise zoo which will be the very hard mode city zoo minimalistic and also size driven I'm really excited in case you want to support that project make sure to join my discord channel as well uh, there will be the instruction to it I will create a new thread right now and will give all the instructions and that's gonna be really cool and really exciting but until then have a very nice week ahead guys and just stay safe and goodbye